One of my favorite things about woodworking is that there are so many different ways to join pieces of wood together. You can use glue, screws, or nails, mortise and tenon, dovetail or box joints, biscuits, pocket screws, or dowels. The list goes on and on, and it's fun to think about the best one to use for any given project. The record cabinet and speaker stands we just built used a bunch of different approaches, one of which was dowels. They're easy to use and create a strong joint. There are a bunch of jigs and tools you can buy to help drill dowel holes, but if you like to make tools like this yourself, there are a bunch of examples you can use as inspiration. In this video, I want to focus on how to design and make your own dowel centers. Now whether you model these for yourself, or you just grab the free files that we've provided, I'll show you how easy it is to DIY useful tools for your shop. I'm using XDesign to model the dowel center. It's a browser-based CAD application from SOLIDWORKS. You can use to design almost anything. If you're new to CAD, a simple project like this is a great way to build your skills. Since the dowel centers look like something you could turn on a lathe, I'll sketch a cross section of it and then later revolve it around an axis. I'm using a series of lines to create the shape I want, and I'm not really worrying about how big everything is or if I've got the proportions just right. Once I create a closed shape, I'll use the dimension tool to dial everything in. You can put almost any dimension on the sketch that you'd like, but when I design, I try to think about what dimensions are the most important and how I want my model to behave if I change things in the future. Let's revolve this profile and see what we get. This looks great, but I think we can improve the design by adding a small chamfer at the base. This will make it easier to insert the center into a hole. The design now looks a lot like the metal centers that you can buy, but we're gonna 3D print ours and this 90 degree shoulder will require support material. Of course, that's not the end of the world. Plenty of 3D printed designs require supports. But in this case, there's a simple fix that will eliminate the need for them. Let's edit the sketch we created and draw one more line. Then we can edit the revolve feature and tell it to stop using the entire sketch and instead use just this contour. Now we've got a 45 degree shoulder that will be self-supporting. What's also great is that I can change one dimension to update the design to match any size dowel. No matter what 3D printer you might have access to, these little pieces print out really quickly, and they work really well. If you'd like to print a set of these for yourself, you can download the files for free using the link in the description. And if you'd like to start designing your own projects using SOLIDWORKS for Makers, be sure to check the link below for a 20% discount. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on our next make.